Yes, it's piano from the beginning once again. And today is our lesson number six. Let's talk about whole steps, half steps, and the major scale formula. Have you ever asked yourself why we don't have black keys between the B, C, and E, F? The way we have between C, D, the D, E, F, G, G, A, and A, B, there are black keys, but we don't have between E, F, and B, C. Say to the end of the lesson and you will have a concrete reason as to why this is so. Well, from our lesson two, we talked about, about the major scale. And we said the major scale is simply the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, in ascending and descending. And we said how to play it with proper fingering and we obtained triads from it. But did you know that you can develop a scale, a major scale from any key on the piano that you wish? For example, I can play a G major scale. I can play D major. Okay, but however, you must understand that the way I play in C using just the natural keys, which are the white keys, will not give me a scale if I did so in the key of D. Listen to this. If I play D to D notes, natural notes in succession, they will not sound as a major scale should. Why? Now, that's what brings us to this lesson. We need to understand the knowledge of whole steps and half steps. Well, a half step or which we sometimes call a semitone, is the least singable or playable difference in pitch between two notes. For example, E to F is a natural semitone or a natural half step. Since it is the least difference between notes that can be singable or playable in music, that is why there is no black key to divide it between to divide these two notes since it is a natural least possible um, difference in pitch that can be sung or be played and that applies also between b and c b c it's not possible to sing a note between them e f it is not possible to sing a note between them and so such a difference is what we call a half step or a semitone when two half steps combine are combined together they give us a whole step for example between c d that is a whole step and that's why we have a black key dividing them into two half steps from c to that black key and from this black key to the d it's half step and another half step and so c d is a natural whole step d e is a natural whole step and that's why we have another black key between them well in order that a major scale should sound as it should there is a special rule or a special formula that should apply as the notes should follow each other in succession or how the notes should follow each other. So between Do to Re should be a whole step. Do, Re should be a whole step. Re, Mi should be a whole step. Mi, Fa should be a half step. That is why in the key of C, that is when I play a C major scale, the Do, Re, Mi, Fa it just flows because it agrees with that formula. Do, Re, whole step. Re, Mi, whole step. Mi, Fa, half step. Then, Fa to So should be a whole step. So, La, whole step. 
la ti whole step ti do should be a half step and as you notice ti do is a bc which is a natural half step no black key to divide them and so that makes it possible to play the c major scale with no black key okay so what happens if i want to play a g major scale meaning i want to start my scale on g so meaning any key can be do okay so let's begin from g as we play from g in order that to sound do re mi fa sol la ti do then we must have that scale formula uh in use so i will play that's my do do or if it is in the left arm do so do re should be a whole step which is correct re mi should be a whole step it's okay mi fa now mi fa is a should be a half step and it is b c here so it is as well correct so fa so should be a whole step so la should be a whole step and it, it is now i want you to be keen on this la to t should be a whole step but here we have a natural half step between e and f so what we do to have a whole step here we sharp the f meaning we raise f by a half step and that gives us a half from e to f and f to f raised a whole step now now that is called sharpening uh some may say sharpening and that is what that is where a sharp comes from in music and so la ti now becomes correct because it is a whole step now and ti do should be half step and now the g major scale is correct so it will be a so to obtain a g major scale you must have at least one black key that is the f sharp a sharp raises a note by a half step and that is why this black key here it is called an f sharp so because it is an f raised up and so from there we can obtain the names of all the black keys using the white key just to its left so if i want to name this one it will be c sharp this will be a d sharp okay we have said this is f sharp this is g sharp because this is g this is a sharp okay c sharp d sharp f sharp g sharp a sharp let's try to make or rather have a major scale from the key f so i want to play f major scale so as should the scale formula must apply meaning tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone that is called the scale formula two whole steps then half step and then three whole steps a half step so let's begin from this f do now any key can be do so when we are speaking of a particular major scale then that key is the do so here is f as the do so do re should be a tone which is okay re mi should be a tone then mi fa should be a semitone but here we have a natural tone between a and b and therefore what do we do we need to reduce this interval or this not down by a half step and then this brings us 
to something again we need to be keen on this is called flattening or flatting flattening actually and then it gives us a new sign in music we call a flat so the act of bringing down a note from its actual pitch lowering it by a half step that is what we call a flat in music and so this key we can call it b flat okay so now that gives us mi fa and so we have the lower half of the of the scale we call the lower tetrachord being as tone tone then semitone so then do re mi fa now b flat becomes my fa then fa so should be a tone now by flattening flattening b it has give, corrected this interval here between the 4 to its 5 to the 5 so we have a tone so la should be a tone la ti should be a tone ti do should be a semitone and so ti do here is a natural semitone between e and f and so the scale is correct so we will have the f major scale as so to play the f major scale you also need one black key but this time it's not a sharp it is called a flat and this is b flat well and conclusively from there we can name all black keys again using the natural key above it or to its right side by calling it giving it a flat name so for example this is we have said is b flat but we had called it a sharp in our previous uh, example and so this can be called a flat meaning a lowered down by a semitone this can be called g flat g flat a flat b flat and so this can be called d flat and this can be called e flat and so every black key has got two names one based on the natural to its left and another one based on the natural to its right so this can be c sharp or d flat this can be d sharp or e flat f sharp or g flat g sharp or a flat a sharp or b flat and this now forms a very good uh, foundation to understand the playing of all keys on the piano so with this scale formula the tone tone semitone and tone 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 semitone or whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step you can obtain keys i mean scales of keys any key that you wish you can obtain a scale of any key that you wish for example from d it will be do to re tone re to mi should be a tone so we will not use now this half step instead we will use the f sharp to obtain a whole step between the re to mi so it will be do re mi then fa are you seeing that so and then half step so fa to so should be a tone so la tone la t should be a tone and therefore we must use the c sharp then to do a half step well and so in the key of d we will play the scale with two sharp notes that's the f sharp and the c sharp so do so or let me just sing in a do re mi fa so la ti do ascending well 
fingering is the same one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. But in F major, the fingering is different. One, two, three, four. Because in when playing scales, we do not use fingers five and finger one on the black keys. Okay, we'll maybe look at that later on as we will be introducing keys and uh, more other playing techniques. So, but no, in the scales, we just play the black keys with finger two, three, and four, and not one and five. So, one, two, three, four, then I pass one under the four, such that finger one plays the C, so, la, ti, do, and so the scale ends in finger four and not finger five. And descending four, three, two, one, four plays the B flat, three, two, one. But the left just is no more. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Well, that is very important to understand because it is the key which will unlock the playing or the skill of playing all keys with understanding and it will help us develop very fast and even help us forget about the transpose button otherwise see you in the next class as we talk more about the minor and major triads and their differences using the knowledge of whole steps and half steps Stay tuned and please subscribe such that you will be following us down as we give these tutorials. See you.